Hello folks and welcome back. Uh, just putting a small chapel in here. We got the funds to do that very handily. Um, and uh, I think it's time to get engaged in a few fights, eh? Uh, we've got uh, one fight here that I would like to take out this French army uh, with our full stack here. Uh, I'm not too concerned about what the French might have here um, in this settlement because it seems to be... Uh, a fair amount of, uh, frankly, garbage uh, against these these level of troops, or these types of troops. Um, and then we also have uh, King Rufus here taking, uh, subduing Ireland. Um, my thoughts, since this will get us a, a slight military bonus here in our capital, um, we will do this battle first. Yes, so, Moving to crush assault the on Dublin. Uh, fairly close, so we will uh, fight this one in the field. Uh, let's see what troops they have. Yeah, so uh, four sets of missile troops here, archers and kerns, more like uh, javelin uh, throwing units. And uh, we also have uh, some, I think these are heavy infantry and then some light town militia here. Uh, so this will be a bit of a fight, but uh, hopefully we can pull this one out uh, fairly easily. So into combat no escaping us now. Attack. Ooh, change that up a bit it's a clearer day much better and I will set up the troops and see you shortly right uh, welcome back here folks um, we've got uh, a double kind of like a forked movement here. Um, we've got some spear militia over here with uh, a couple of cavalry units, uh, decent cavalry there. And then also uh, we've got our main force going to press up the center aisle here, uh, hopefully catch them in a pincer, and uh, kind of maximize our surface area. Um, these kind of battles are somewhat hard because, you know, they've got an advantage of some choke points and we can't really use our numbers to their full advantage because it just turns into a meat grinder uh, here and probably going to be here. And then kind of hopefully, if all goes well, kind of working its way into the center of the town. Um, but we are here now. Here, Here's the fight and we shall fight them. Actually, it might be wise if we took our horse and run them around the back of the town. That might not be a bad idea. And then take these horse and likewise run them around the back here. Oops. There we go. As the infantry charges in, we'll put Rufus up there as well to kind of give them some support and hopefully demoralize the enemy. He's a very dreaded man. Uh, kill hundreds of men. No one lives when they go up against him. Truly a fearsome reputation uh, for our king to have. What do we have here? The good thing is we don't really have to worry about any spears in this particular fight because they don't have any. So we can kind of use our horse to uh, to real advantage here. Faster, lads. Faster would be better. Archers will bring you up. I doubt you're going to be of too much assistance, but... I suppose it's better to have you than to not. Horsemen bringing in the rear here. Charge, lads! Town bells ringing, trying to warn people, but it's far too late. English forces already crashing into the town center. You lot. Push around. You lot. Take them out. How are we doing? They're shaking. Good, good. And pulling the 
the other horse unit in here. Bring Rufus up. Along your kingship. Fighting the, the missile troops here. Hopefully we can take them out. Uh, do some damage that way. And... More horsemen charging in. So really we've kind of got everyone pushing into the center here, which is good. Um, hopefully going to help them to maximize uh, the kill ratio. Um, don't really think there's a whole lot more we can do to, to maximize. It's going to be good of a waiting game, so we'll, we'll watch the action. Instead of uh, just letting it happen, we will involve ourselves in it. Over here, we're, oh god, we lost a man. Lost another one. Come on, knights, you're better than this. I don't want to watch it now. It's, it's just too disheartening. Ah, we've got their captain. And uh, got the captain and to pull Rufus in again. Looks like we're mopping up this, this part of the battlefield pretty nicely. Uh, and then also pressing in this way as well uh, as we fight these archers and uh, all these other troops in the center here. Um, it's very difficult on this to do what I normally do with knights and kind of use them as the game says as a medieval wrecking ball, you know, swing them in and swing them out. Well, with all these kind of narrow channels, it doesn't, it's not really conducive to charging in uh, to an enemy. So, you know, their defenses, they, they work. I mean, they're defending. They are, they are rather helpful. All my spears have decided to take a coffee break. No, no, we're not quite done yet, lads. Almost lost this this entire division of cavalry. Uh, your sacrifices are noted, gentlemen. And really should probably pull them out, though. They're not not faring too well at this point. Uh, so we're just trying to overwhelm them with infantry. Where's the others? There we go. Come on, lads. I know they're heavy infantry, but they're demoralized. You know, do do what you can. Ugh. I hate it when it gets into the slog part of just Oh god, look look at that. It's mounds of corpses around these men. It's a ring. <clears throat> Hopefully this is taking them out. We'll even get our king involved here. Careful, careful, Rufus. My lord, our men are in command of the city. Good, very good, very good indeed. Keep pushing, keep, keep pincering them in. Where's Rufus? Good. He's, oh, oh no, no no, get out of there. The only one that you're the only one here that matters, Rufus. Can't lose you. Push in again. Taking some scars, but hey, it makes it makes you more manly, right? Come along. Speed up the time here. It's really just a waiting game at this point. There we go. Less than a minute to run out the clock, and there we go. Bit bloody. Uh, lost about half the men that they lost, but hey, another settlement, and uh, we get some units out of it too, so pretty good. Smash them down. And we will... Uh, we'll sack the, sack the place. Pop in a wall. What do we get? Mailed knights in the capital city. Ships ready. No, that's it's a pretty good trade, I think. These ships cannot go there. An honor, sire. And well, sire. Uh, we've got the money, and I know there's another place I can build a church. There we are. Uh, again, building these churches to get our papal favor up. Um, slowly. We've got one cross back, uh, so that's a good thing. But, um, 
kind of the more churches we do, the more we invest in uh, in the Catholic Church, the happier the Pope will be with us, uh, and we can kind of run that run that advantage as well. Uh, particularly because I'm pretty sure after I smash this French army, he's going to tell us to stop it again, and I'll actually have to listen because um, he's he's still fairly young. He's got about ten years left in him. Uh, and Rufus certainly has a, a long time left to lead his country, uh, so we don't want to um, don't want to, to anger the Pope too much at this point. Um, not in the same situation we were in last go around. Uh, so our next fight will be uh, against Captain um, Captain Frenchman here, uh, and taking out his army. Uh, but I will save that for the next part, and I hope to see you then.